क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न द नेक्स्ट स्टेप towards FET analysis that is DC analysis of FET. We have learned DC analysis of BJT and in this video we will learn DC analysis of another transistor that is FET. Here first of all in the first step we will understand how many types of biasing we can use in FET. The first biasing network that we can use is self biasing. Self bias is this is self bias generally your value of input resistance is nearly about in mega ohms that is very very high and that's why your ig is equal to zero this is about all about self bias next one is to attain good stability we do have potential divider bias I'll just change that name even if you write that VXX, VYY that doesn't matters. VDD means it's a drain DC supply and here VSS means I'm applying DC supply for source. This is R1, this is R2, this is RD for drain resistance, this is RS for source resistance. Similarly here I can do the Namakaran this is your rg so here rg comprises of r1 parallel r2 right rest all the things are same so here i can give the namakaran as your voltage divider bias there is no need to use fixed bias and collector to base bias and all this stuff this is because fet is itself thermally stable circuit than that of BJT that we have already studied in previous videos. Now you got an idea that how many types of biasing circuits we have and how many kinds of numericals we'll be getting in this particular circuit. Now coming to the part of mathematics of FET, we do have one equation that is called as Shockey's equation that is nothing but ID is equal to IDSS multiplied by 1 minus VGS divided by VP the whole square. This is called as Shockey's equation we will use we will incorporate this equation for DC as well as AC analysis and this IDSS Namakaran of IDSS is nothing but drain to source saturation current right so that DSS it means this D first second S and third S so DSS, IDSS, it means that drain to source saturation current. It's a maximum value of the current flowing through FET when FET operated in saturation region. So I can say again, this is nothing but max current. And operating region, obviously, saturation region. About VP. VP is nothing but pinch of voltage. This is nothing but voltage at which your current is equal to zero. So voltage VGS at which 
करंट ओके वी जी एस एंड आई डी आर नथिंग बट टू पैरामीटर्स वेरिएबल राइट आई कैन से दैट आई डी इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन वी जी एस नो वी जी एस का स्क्वायर इफ यू ओपन दिस ब्रैकेट विल बी गेटिंग वन स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वाइस ऑफ वी जी एस डिवाइड बाई वी पी प्लस वी जी एस डिवाइड बाई वी पी द होल स्क्वायर सो इन दैट होल प्रोसेस आई कैन से दैट आई डी इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू स्क्वायर ऑफ वी जी एस एंड दैट इज वाई दिस इज कॉल्ड एज स्क्वायर लॉ इक्वेशन and that is why fet is turn out to be square law device this is very very important for viva why fet is called as square law device you should be able to answer what i told this is all about the simple mathematics as far as dc analysis is concerned then we will move towards actual steps for a dc analysis how to solve the numerical the first important step is open all coupling and bypass capacitors this is because we are doing dc analysis we are not incorporating any ic signal out of it or into it so we at all not concerned with ac signal and that is why we are not at all concerned with the frequency and that is why xc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi fc if f is equal to 0 xc will become infinite so we will be getting the capacitance capacitive reactance is equal to infinite and that gives you open circuit in the form of capacitors so capacitor should be your open circuit then second step is input kvl now unlike bjt dc analysis we have to change some strategy to solve dc analysis numerical in your fet that is while doing this input kvl we will get the relationship between vgs and id right so i can say that vgs is a function of id right i will get the value of vgs in terms of id right and that will be your equation number 1 right in the second equation use equation of id right and that is equal to idss multiplied by 1 minus vgs divided by vp the whole square okay equation number 2 right use equation number 1 and 2 right what i can get for example if vgs is a function of id can i put the value of vgs over here such that completely i will be getting equation in the form of id only right so we can say that use equation number 1 and 2 and get get quadratic equation in terms of id so here as this is square law device we are getting the equation in the form of polynomials right so it's a square so polynomials of degree 2 so we will be getting something multiplied by a multiplied by id square plus or minus b multiplied by id plus or minus c is equal to 0 okay this is done now from this we will be getting two equations id1 and id2 right if id1 is x and id2 is y there will be a confusion that which value is correct right 
then according to the characteristics we will draw the characteristics and then we'll get to know that whether this id is valid or not right so for suppose let's say that we are having n channel jfit so for n channel jfit in the last video we have learned this is vt characteristics here we'll be getting vp here we are getting idss y axis is id x axis is vgs right and important thing is id should not reach beyond idss vgs should not reach beyond vp right so we will say that check value of id 1 and id 2 such that id should be less than idss right so here we will get select id from id1 and id2 right and 101 percent you will be getting only one correct answer and another will be out of scope of either it is beyond idss or we'll be getting negative value of id right so one of the value is always and always correct and that we will take it as idq that is one of the q point parameter then i know that from equation number one we know that vgs is a function of id right as it is a function of id i can easily get the value of vgs and that i will treat as vgsq so that we can easily get the value of vgsq now this is how we have learned to find out the parameters such as one is id and another is vgs what is left vds now for vds whatever we have done in bjt to find out vceq that only we will incorporate what it is yes it is the output kvl right so we'll apply in the next step very simple simple and straightforward for any kind of dc numerical for fet we will follow these steps and we'll get all the values such as answer will be in the form of idq vgsq and vdsq so these three answers will be easily getting if you follow these steps so i hope you have cleared all about things in dc analysis of jfit in the next videos we will solve more number of numericals so that you will get deeper idea if complex circuit is there how to solve the numerical by following these steps so thank you for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed so learn more and more edc along with me along with ikeda videos for that you have to subscribe the channel ikeda thank you